fuck and I kind of couldn't go over and I'm like what really the boat can't go up such like a 16th or whatever kind of tile size so I kind of had to like shimmy my way over to get towards that sort of like to go from the grass block that's up here to kind of land on the grass here to kind of land on this grass uh, path block so it could go on the grass block here and then go back on and then go onto the bridge that I made specifically just to go over here which was literally just a right angle trial going straight here then turn because <laughs> I didn't know if the boat could have like decent steering while it was uh, on land Actually, I'm going to put my wall here so that you're safe at the very least while I'm going to be in danger, which is fine because I'm I'm used to the danger. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it to get rid of the windows from the back. So we're copying everything for the most part uh, minus the windows to the back because that's how we're going to get into the base now. Rather than just us uh, like going through the base, through this sand wall, we now have, get to go through doors, finally. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do, is so though now we don't have to keep replacing the sand wall each and every time we want to go to the house. We just need to... Oops, I was supposed to sprint that. Okay. Alright, and now we're going to sprint jump our way over here, so that's three blocks, so yeah, so we should be getting rid of this one. Actually, no, so we're on this wall face. Yeah, so we're on this wall face, pretty much. So I'm going to leave the chests and the lectern where they are for now. So that one's like that. And then the rest of them are just like normal. Okay. I hope you just need a pickaxe to get that back. If not, that's another three copper that we're using up. Which isn't really too big of a deal. We have like a bunch of copper that I haven't been using because I don't really think I need to use it right now. I don't need the sand. I need this. So this is like that then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so then there should be a four gap. There, okay, there we go. Okay, I think I'm missing something here. Because if we're starting to build this, then that means that this is here, this is here, this is here, this is all that. These are exact mirrors of that. This one's full cobble, and this one's like that. And But this was the start of this. Huh. Okay. Well, if there's any issues, I could just edit it later on. And by edit it, I mean like I could actually just go in through, uh... Maybe I'm going one block more out. And that might be why I'm getting thrown off. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going on here. Because, let's see, because both of these should be identical. Yeah, so that's two. Yeah, I think that's what's wrong. I think I'm just adding an extra block specifically because I think I got confused of when to actually place stuff. So let's go. Let me set this real quick. Uh, this place should be torched up pretty well. 
but I'm gonna go start torching it up a little bit better. The only thing is phantoms, but I think I can probably avoid them as much as possible. Okay, yeah, so this. I know I don't really need to break these, but I kind of just want to get rid of the stone pickaxe as well. So, <laughs> sort of kills two birds with one stone for me. I do not want to keep stone tools if I don't need to. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So this wall face is supposed to be this one, and I think that's where I got confused from. Okay. So that's this entire wall. See, that looks more like it. See, this looks right now. Game. There you go. I got Phantom Membrane. Awesome. Yeah. So I think we're doing pretty well for the build right now. I'm doing it... I'm kind of trying to do it slow, but I keep trying to speed it up, which is I think is what's throwing me off. Is that like I'm trying to speed run to finish the, the whole like house kind of thing, just so we actually have like our sort of cover house, pretty much. But it's throwing me off. So you know what, I was going to the house here. Okay, uh, I can pick this without actually injuring you, right? What? Oh, you changed your profession because you were closer to it. Oh, you big giant jerk. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this is also attracting all the mobs to spawn in that uh, giant chamber up there. There you go. Yeah, because this is another reason why I want to make a better farm. So what my current goal is, is I'm going to move you... And now I can move that stupid lectern as well. I can't jump that. Oh, it's because of the stairs, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go and move this to turn around. So hopefully I can pop out over here. Thank you. Since I can remove the lectern and it doesn't remove your trade anymore. Thanks a lot, game. Anyway. Oh. Oh. No! Oh ho ho. That was close. Yeah, so they spawn because on hard difficulty, there's an increased chance for zombies that come from here to sort of generate sort of the zombie uh, reinforcements kind of thing. And I kind of want to keep on trying to do it this way, or, no. I kind of don't really like them that much. Yeah, and this whole sand door trick, I kind of did it during 1.16 for, I think, when I did my, when I did my uh, dimensional quarry, I think, is how I did it. Uh, because uh, I tried gravel first, but then one of them turned into flint, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a that's a problem. Uh, yeah, give me a second. I kind of just shifted over to sand real quick. Okay, when it turns the day, I'm going to change the weather again. It wouldn't be th this big of a hole like it wouldn't be that big of a deal if it were to were the fact that it's been raining constantly 
like I've had my account logged in for about when when did I stop? We'll say one o'clock. We'll say we'll say one o'clock. So that's about twelve seventeen hours. So for seventeen hours, my character's been in here uh, patiently waiting for like you know the rain to kind of reset itself back into its normal sort of you know I think it's like twelve hundred two thousand ticks I think, and I get this nonsense. Was it because I kept clearing the weather? Maybe. But then again, that should reset it. I remember because when I was mining the, or when I was demolishing the houses, it rained four times in one Minecraft day. And I had to keep resetting it constantly. And it's not like it's even a thunderstorm where you can actually sleep in the bed or anything. No. Also, when it's nighttime, or when it's uh, night, if you sleep in the bed, it doesn't reset the rain. So that's kind of stupid. That's kind of weird. I wish it would kind of reset the rain. I don't care about the day thing. That's kind of what this whole entire portion is. I kind of want to know if you can make a command block that acts like sleep. So like when you click F3 kind of thing, uh, it doesn't reset, uh, where's the day thing? So yeah, so it kind of doesn't reset the whole day, uh, thing over here. So you keep the day number, but it continues going up as time goes on kind of thing. But you have, like, a command sign or even a command block that changes it so it's daytime as if somebody slept in a bed. Which I think is kind of cool. I want to see if there's a way to do it. Yeah, that mending book would have helped you, jerk. Oh, now it's thunderstorming. Okay. Yeah, that lightning rod will definitely help out a lot. Uh, I think it's about time that if I do slash weather clear, it should be close to daytime. So let's do that now. Oh, come on. Should be done by now. I've been trying to keep on top of the sugar cane as well, but I'm getting towards that point where, like, it's I almost need to be automatically collecting. So we're going to try and do something... Similar to that, but I want to try and use hoppers in order to collect it all. So there's a few problems with this, but I think it's doable. It's just not towards the way that I want it. I'll probably look online for a design. And then we'll kind of just slowly build it as time goes on. Because that's going to help us out a lot in the in the long run, pretty much. Okay, come on. Come on, turn day already. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. In a quick second. All right, there you go. Somebody was honking their horn, so I decided to just pretty much yell at them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Okay, so this is where the chests are going, so I kind of don't want to empty them because I do not have enough room for it. I'm going to go place the smoker thing over here for now. Okay, so let's see here. So we can now demolish all of this. I need these torches so I can keep on selling it to myself that this will work. <laughs> I don't need to do anything with these chests because these chests are actually outside of the building, which means that they won't affect too much. I don't think. Yeah, they won't affect anything. 
Yeah, because you're because this is because this block right here is right up against it, and then you sort of curve in here. So I think it should be fine. So let's go and break this block because that's that one. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I have diamond tools, but yet I'm keep trying to resort back into stone tools for the most part. I know I just made another one, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I keep trying to preserve my diamond pickaxes as much as possible until I get mending, I kind of need to sort of resort to these kinds of kinds of things, where I use stone, or if we had a if we had a lot of iron, I'd resort to iron. But I do not have the luxury of having a ton of iron on hand, like I would normally have in Minecraft. But it's 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 fine. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we need the cobble. So we need to go uh, by two. Then we need the.